Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. Amen. Welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories, brought to you by the Church of Pentecost USA. Today, our story is The Baby in the Reeds. What would Moses' mother do? Her baby boy was healthy and beautiful, but the ruler of Egypt, whose name is Pharaoh, had ordered all Hebrew boys killed. So she wrapped him in a shawl, placed him in a basket, and lowered it into the water among the reeds. By chance, the king's daughter came down to the river and found the basket. This must be one of the Hebrew babies. She said softly, and she picked him up and cradled him gently. Moses' sister was watching behind some bushes. She bravely stepped forward and offered to find someone to nurse the baby. The princess agreed, and Miriam darted off to find her mother, who took care of Moses until he was old enough to live in the palace. This is Moses' sister, Miriam, talking to the princess of Egypt. When Moses grew up in the palace, he had everything that a prince could have. But he became angry at how the Egyptians treated his fellow Hebrews. One day, he was so angry, he killed one of the Egyptians that killed a Hebrew. And when the secret came out, he left Egypt and became a shepherd. One day, while tending sheep, he saw a bush on fire, but the leaves were not burning. As he stepped closer, God spoke to him. I will rescue my people and bring them out of Egypt into the promised land. You must tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses was scared, but God would not listen to his excuses. He told Moses that he would be with him and sent him back to Egypt. He also sent Moses' brother, Aaron, to help him. Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh, the God of Israel asks you to let his people go. Pharaoh would not believe your nerve. In fact, he was so angry he made the slaves work even harder. Moses and Aaron tried again. When Pharaoh demanded some proof of their God, Aaron threw down his staff and they turned into a snake. But the king's magicians performed sorcery and when they threw their stuff on the ground, they too turned into snakes. Aaron's snake gobbled up all the other snakes, but still the king's heart was hardened. He would not let the Hebrews go. It was time for God to teach Pharaoh a lesson. Good night, everyone. The end. God bless you. Have a good night.